Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through creating your very first custom skill for Amazon Alexa. This is a beginner tutorial, so even if you've never written a line of code before in your life, you should be able to follow along just fine. But before continuing, please look at the description for this video and make sure that there isn't an updated version. This stuff changes pretty quickly. I think this is the fourth or fifth revision to this tutorial. This one I'm doing on November 18th, 2018. So if it's close to that date, this is probably the latest version, but check the description first. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. To follow along, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need an account, an Amazon developer account, and an account on aws.amazon.com. You can get the Amazon developer account at developer.amazon.com, and it's a free account. You don't need to provide a credit card or anything for this account. What you will wanna do when you sign up if you don't already have an Amazon developer account is you'll wanna use the same email address that you use for your primary Amazon account. So if you've got like Amazon Prime or the account that you use to, uh, to buy stuff with on amazon.com, use that email address. If uh, you have an Amazon Echo and you've set it up, definitely use whatever email address you use to set up your Amazon Echo. And that's important because if you use the same account, when you're creating skills while they're in development, you can test them on your Amazon Echo. On the AWS, when you go to aws.amazon.com to sign up, this one is not free or it's a paid service, but there's a free tier that you um, will probably not go out of unless you create a skill that's really, really popular. The free tier is very generous. This is the only service that we're gonna be using for this tutorial, this um, AWS Lambda. And that provides up to a million requests a month for free. So even though you will be prompted for your credit card as you go through here, at least for this tutorial, you shouldn't have any costs associated with doing this stuff. Okay, so um, with that, we are gonna get started over here at developer.amazon.com. And when you go over there, you're gonna wanna log in and then you're gonna wanna go to uh, Alexa here. And from there, you're gonna go and hover over your Alexa console's menu option up here and choose skills. And if you've just set up this account, you'll see a blank page here. I've got some skills that um, I've created previously, so I see the list here. But you will see a blue button that says create a skill, and you wanna start by choosing that. And we're gonna call our skill uh, space facts. Uh, we're going to be using one of the templates that Amazon provides, and I'll show you how to modify that um, template so that you can create your own skill with your own facts. And you want to choose the language that you're going to use. I'm using the, the default, which is uh, English and the US, US variation of English, uh, but you can choose the language that you uh, prefer or your default language, and then choose custom here. Is we're going to be creating, uh, ex yeah, we're going to be creating a custom skill. So choose custom, and then on the next screen, we're going to be prompted for a template, and we're going to want to choose this fax skill template here, and then we go choose, and uh, and so now we we have our skill set up in the developer console here. There's some other things that we need to do to make it fully functional. We're this first step here, the invocation name, we've got a, a warning here and the warning is uh, that it's using the default invocation name that's provided with this fact template, this um, fact skill template, and that's the space facts. So if you were creating a live skill, you wouldn't want to use space facts as the invocation name. And the invocation name is the name that users are going to use to call up the skill. So they would say, Alexa, ask space facts or open space facts or tell space facts. So this is gonna be the name that, that's gonna be used. And again, if you're creating a live skill, you're gonna to wanna to change this. We'll go back and change this later in the video just so you can see that process. But at this point here, just to show you the, the default uh, functionality, I'll, I'll choose save and then build the model. And anytime you make a change to the interaction model, and uh, in this case, we're just setting up the interaction model for the first time, you need to come back here and save it and rebuild it. And building the interaction model can take a, a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause and then fast forward. Okay, so the invocation model is done building now, and we can actually test at this point. Um, so we'll go over here to test, and then enable testing here, and then we're just gonna enter um, open space facts. 
And when we do that, launch request. We get this kind of placeholder response back that just says launch request. And that is coming from the skill service back end, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute here, but I want to show you where that's set up. So uh, when you're creating a skill, there's the, the, the front end, which is the voice user interface. This is going to outline um, what the user can say to the skill and then the functionality for what happens when the user uh, request is received. That's all done by the back end, which we're going to set up in AWS in just a second here but it's in the Alexa developer council. It is set up here at, at endpoints. And when we selected the, the default uh, fax skill template, it set up this placeholder um, uh, endpoint for us. And that's what's uh, giving us the response launch request. But we're gonna change that. We're gonna go over to aws.amazon.com and we're gonna sign in to the AWS console And once you're signed in here, we're going to find the Lambda server. So if you just type Lambda like this, that is going to take you to the Lambda service. And the first time that you log in here, you'll see like a, a default kind of dashboard screen, but you'll, you'll see a button. It's over here on the right when you first start up, but the orange button that says create function and you want to choose that create function and then find this option here, the AWS serverless application repository option. And these are like, um, well, templated backend. So we set up the template uh, front end for the fax skill through the developer, through the Alexa developer console. We're gonna set up the backend template, this one here, Alexa skills kit Node.js. We're gonna select that. We're gonna set that up here in our uh, AWS console. And incidentally, if you don't see that in there, it might be that you need to change your region. So not all of the regions in AWS support Alexa. So if you don't see that in there for some reason, just come over here and find a region that does support Alexa. I know the US East North Virginia, it's not the only region, there's other ones, but that one I know for sure does. So if you're just trying this out and um, dabbling around with it, you can use that. And uh, that is it. So once you, have that you just click deploy and this usually happens pretty quickly it might take 10 15 seconds but in a minute here we're gonna see there we go that our um, function is deployed now and so what we need once it's deployed is we need to uh, we need to get what's called the ARN or the Amazon resource name Actually, it looks like it is still deploying here. We'll go over here, back over to Lambda, and see if we see it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so you're gonna look for a function name that has the Alexa Skills Kit Node.js fact in the name, and then click on that. And then here, what we need is this, the ARN, which is the Amazon resource name. So you want to select that and copy it. And then with that, head back over to your Alexa developer console. And we're going to replace on the endpoint here, we're going to replace this default region with the one that was provided by default with our ARN. And so once you've done that, you can go ahead and choose save. And now when we go and test it, we should get a space fact back, um, assuming that this is all done over here, which it is. And so now if we say uh, open space fact, Here's your fact. The Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 5 billion years. Okay, great. So we got our space fact back. Now let's take a look at changing it up to maybe use some of our own facts. So if you go to um, the AWS console and to your Lambda function that we just set up, if you scroll down in here, select this option here, the it, which is selected by default, and that will if you scroll down, provide you with 
an editor for the code that's a part of that function. And if you scroll down in the code, we're looking at the index.js here, which should be selected by default. But if you scroll down, you'll see a list of the facts. And these are the facts that the skill is providing. If you want to change those, you can just go in and edit each one of these. I'll show you. I've got some Star Wars facts that I'm going to use here. And I would guess there's probably like a million other Alexa skills that are Star Wars facts related, but we're going to use this. And you, of course, could change this to be whatever um, facts you want. When you're adding the facts, you just want to make sure that each one of the facts is enclosed in quotes, uh, single quotes or double quotes, and then uh, it's followed by a comma. So this is a list of facts, just like this here. If you don't have the comma or if you forget it or... You've got some typo in here. The skill isn't going to work. So you want to be careful about that. And then just choose save. And once it's done saving, we can go back to the Alexa console over here and we can test it out. We'll say um, open space facts. And now we should get a Star Wars fact. Here's your fact. Revenge of the Sith has more visual effects than any film in history. Okay, so now we're getting our Star Wars facts, and what we'll probably want to do is change the invocation name now. So rather than, um, let's see, rather than Star Wars, or rather than Space Facts, we'll change it to Star Wars Facts. So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go to our invocation name here, and we're going to change this to Star Wars Facts. We're going to save that. And again, anytime you make a change to the interaction model, you're going to need to build it. So we're going to go build here. And this can take a minute, so I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, the model is done building now, so we can test it out. We're going to go over here to test, and this time we're going to say open Star Wars Facts. So. Do you mean unofficial Star Wars facts or unofficial Star Wars facts? Okay, um, if this happens, this sometimes happens when you change the name of a skill, uh, change the invocation name of a skill that you're working on. And to fix it, we're going to go to alexa.amazon.com and log in with the same account that you're using for your Amazon developer account if it, it doesn't have you logged in already and then go to skills and then your skills and then dev skills here and then we're going to find our space facts skill right down here which is a skill that which is the skill that we're working on and we're going to disable it and then re-enable it and this doesn't always happen but sometimes I've run into this where if you change the invocation name, it uh, stops working in development, but it's an easy fix or it should be, usually is, we'll see. Um, so now we'll try this again, open Wars Facts. Here's your fact, the phrase, I have a bad feeling about this was said in every movie. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got our invocation name and our facts changed up. So we've got our uh, completed Star Wars facts skill. Um, if you wanted to do this and then also submit it for review so that it would go into the public skill store, you'd need to go over here to distribution and fill out all of this. You'd wanna give it, uh, the, the public name is the name that's gonna show up in the skill store and then you need a, a, a one sentence description and a detailed description and some other details. So you'd want to go through this, including like a, a logo or an icon rather, and there's a big one and a, a small one. So you'd want to go through all this and save and continue. And then at the end of this, you have the option to submit it for review, which typically takes a couple of days. And after it's reviewed, assuming that it, um, uh, it uh, gets through the review process without any problems, it will be live and available. So that's it. That is as easy as it is to create your very first Alexa skill. 
If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll uh, follow up just as quickly as I can. Hopefully this video was valuable. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel where you'll find over a hundred other uh, free tutorials on developing skills for Amazon Alexa. And you can get there by going to youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Thanks so much.